Welcome to our other adventures here in Florida. Welcome back. Today we are going to go check out the Clearwater Marine Hospital, where the famous winter dolphin is. Let's go take a look. And here we are. We're actually here. This will officially be one of my favorite experiences here in Florida. I've always wanted to come and meet Winter. I've always wanted to come and see this place ever since Dolphin Tail came out, which is where this place is growing in popularity. For those of you who don't know, Winter was the first dolphin in the world to receive a prosthetic tail. Here we go. Really hope we can see Winter from here. <gasps> Can you see him? No. Wow. That's winter. Maybe, I don't know. That is a statue of winter. Amazing. So this is her actual gel right here. Look at this. This is her real gel that they use on her tail. Oh, it's got some. And there's what her original prosthetic looked like. That's her original tail. I don't know if they'll be able to see this or not, but the dolphins are right up there. If you guys look really carefully, she doesn't have her tail on. Smaller, but oh my gosh. You can kind of see it in the reflection. You can see that she doesn't have her tail. Now you can see it a lot better. That's winter, everybody. Without her tail. Come down here. Say hi. Look at that. They're loving on each other. That is one large dolphin next to winter. That must be hope. That's so incredible. And she can swim without it, too. But look at the way it's bent. Oh my god. This is so cool. She's right above us now. It'd be so cool if she came down just to say hi. It's awesome. That's not a hologram, by the way. I know it looks like it on camera, but that is actually winter.
Is there a show up there? Is there a show up there? Sharks are not friends. Basic things that these dolphins need to know and learn from mom. They 
no longer have it. We moved to Chile by the United States government as non-residual, and now calls the autumn wing of Perry and Cruz forever home. At the end of this month, we will be celebrating his 19th birthday, so we do celebrate it on June 24th, and he'll be turning 19 years old. Now we are going to be um, doing a guest program with Nicholas, um, I believe off to the side over here. So we do offer a wide variety of programs so you guys can get up to and personal and meet one of our um, dolphins as well. And then on the side pole over here, we're going to be doing um, a medical management behavior with our youngest bottle nose dolphin and her name is Hope. Now Hope came to us back in 2010. And she was found with her mother, who unfortunately was already passed away. So she was just a little baby dolphin. She was about two to three months old at the time, trying to nurse from her mom, who was unfortunately laying there to sleep. So due to that reason, just like Nicholas, she lost her mom at a young age and was determined as non-releasable. Things do not come naturally for dolphins. They do have to mimic and learn from mom for the majority of their cathood. Um, so because of that, She's determined not only to know has been with us ever since. Um, so she's been with us for a little over 10 years. She will be celebrating her 11th birthday at the end of this year. But something we're going to be practicing with Hope over there with Brooke and our vet team is a blood collection. Now we do practice and maintain husbandry behavior. One of the main reasons why we train here at the aquarium is to ask our animals to voluntarily participate in their own medical management here. Who actually enjoys going to the doctor and giving blood? One person, good sir, awesome. Um, well, I do not, it is not, but however, we don't want our animals to feel that way. Um, it's no big deal, you go ahead, get a little needle, and then you get a huge dolphin party Now, we're not actually going to be collecting a sample right now. It looks like we're just practicing the behavior. We only collect that sample a couple times throughout their year, and that is because dolphins do not speak our language and we don't speak dolphin. That is not why and how we went to school. Uh, that is not a class that we took. So they cannot communicate to us if they feel sick or ill or anything like that. So we proactively collect samples from them throughout their year to make sure that they are maintaining nice and healthy all uh, year long and throughout their um, life here at the aquarium. Now, even though we only collect it a couple times, we do maintain it and practice it on a weekly basis. So, when we practice it and maintain it, um, sometimes we ask our vet team to come out and just play with us. Other times, we'll go up and do the whole setup where we lay her back. Now, the reason why we lay her back and we support up those tail flukes is because uh, we would collect the sample from their tail flukes. It is the easiest spot to find a vein on a dolphin. So, we support her up we are not holding her down or making her stay there or anything like that. If she felt uncomfortable, she can show us that in her body or she can swim away. And that's okay. We'll step away and come back a little later and try again. Um, but we'll go ahead and ask her to roll backwards, hold up her tail flukes and just support them up. Then from there, we would take alcohol gauze, rub that vein area. We're going to go ahead and look for that vein and then um, sometimes you may stick her, other times it's with a cap stick, but we're not actually sticking her with a needle. But we do practice it all the time so she knows it's no big deal. I'm going to receive a huge dolphin party after with lots of food, lots of um, toys, lots of everything, everything like that. Um, so that way she is more than willing to participate in um, doing this in the future. So, like I said, husbandry is one of the reasons why we train here at the aquarium. That second reason that we train is going to be for cognitive behaviors. Cognitive refers to mental stimulation and making sure that they're always learning. So, out in the wild, these animals are problem solvers. They're always thinking how to find their food, if they find their food, how to catch it, how to stay away from predators, and everything like that. Here, these animals don't have to worry about any of that under our the future visit. I want to check out our programs. They do click out pretty quickly. Um, so I recommend going online and pre-booking for them. But you're going to be seeing um, a couple of these really fun behaviors that Nicholas is going to be doing for this photo um, that does fall under the category of cognitive behavior. So when we set up our guests and have them sit down for that little photo bomb that he does in the background, he 
he goes down and he comes up and the behavior is called an alien, but he's kind of combining a couple different behaviors at once. So he goes down, sinks down, jumps up, and then he makes a little bit, shakes his head as well. So he's combining a couple different behaviors and he's getting his thinking, um, and that's a really fun cognitive behavior um, that was trained a very long time called the heart, the other side. And I guess he's going to do that alien photo again. As you saw. Look at that. Thank you very much. Absolutely, thank you. That was the coolest. So here I am on uh, level three of the complex. We're gonna go back and look at dolphins a little bit longer. We're gonna go say hi to winter again. I'm in awe. I am just in awe at this place, guys. If we look, we might be able to see them in the back cages. Yep, there's one. Oh my gosh. I'm here, the sun is in my eyes so I won't look so good, but I am here with these dolphins in Florida. This is a live hearing. They had it booked so we couldn't actually go and meet Winter, get like up close and personal with her. So uh, we tried, but I just noted, not to do with anything, but there's a plane over there, so. Yeah, but uh. This is our day here at Clearwater Marine Aquarium, and you know what? I think I have better appreciation for animals now. I really do. They're absolutely amazing creatures. Absolutely amazing creatures. And once again, you can see Winter back there without her tail. And there's a dolphin right in front of us. That's probably Nick. <laughs> if you look real carefully, you can see that her spine is curved. The dolphin's up above us. Apparently this is the otter zone? Yeah, right here, Mom. You can see them over there. There's so much stuff here to look at, guys. We're not even halfway done yet. There he is. And there's a turtle over there for us to enjoy. The Winter and Hope Gallery. Winter's Gallery of Hope. Oh. So this is all the hope that they had for Winter and Winter's best friend, Hope. We got some fish in here. Right here, fish. I think it's fish, it could be sharks, I don't know. Now that is adorable. Oh my word, if you look really carefully, turtles. Manta rays, the stingrays. This is where Rufus lives from Dolphin Down. There it is. That don't look like no shark. Well, I mean, oh wait, no, there he is. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Look at the size of that shark. Scratch 
hunters all by herself, her friends not with her. Friends are taking off to follow winter in suit. There she goes. And there's her friend. Oh, he's coming around, he's coming around, he's coming around. Here he comes. Oh, I thought he was coming, th there he is. 